Long has the continent of Adira been ruled by the Oswari Empire, keeping peace among the numerous factions of peoples who live within their boundaries with fair leadership and representation. The peace did not last, however, as the line of emperors became corrupt with greed and power, and as they began to launch campaign after campaign to claim even more land and riches. Their demand on their subjects grew ever more until they reached a breaking point. A rebellion was born as the factions of the North banded together to march into the heartland of the Empire to put a stop to it. The hard-fought rebellion was broken at the foot of Norak, the Empire's prized capital. But with the Oswari spread so thin, they were able to broker a truce. The Oswaris granted them their independence in return for an end to the fighting. But as the years passed, and the faction's anger and pain against the Oswaris were forgotten, old rivalries began to surface between the Arbinum state, the Sufrak clans, and the Wakara bands, breaking the trust between the factions of Adira. This does not go unnoticed by the Oswari Empire, whose ever-aggressive emperor looks upon the free lands of Adira with hungry eyes. You and your family lived a simple life within the Arbidum state as farmers, making a living bringing crops to market every year, nothing out of the ordinary happening until two years ago, with the arrival of a mysterious man who stumbled onto your farm, barely clinging to his life. He was injured and on the verge of death, and your parents, kind-hearted folk, tended to his wounds and allowed him to work on the farm while he slowly recovered. You came to know this man as Scovis, and grew quite fond of him as he taught you simple sword-fighting techniques and enchanted you with his tales of adventure all over the world. Scovis was always talking about the aggression of the Oswari Empire. But your parents did not want to hear it. Nothing could make them leave their home. Even when rumors of Sufrak raiding parties started, they believed that nothing would ever happen to their village and way of life. Unbeknownst to anyone, the Oswari Empire is on the march, looking to reclaim their ancient land. Your town, just happens to be one of the first victims of a merciless Oswari campaign of revenge. Kid. Hey, kid. Come on, kid. You've got to get up. You okay? We need to see if anyone is still alive and what we can salvage. Take this. I took it from one of those Oswari dogs. The Oswari army invaded, kid. Done a fine job of making sure hardly anything was left. They're the huge empire to the south, who we ain't on friendly terms with. Nothing to it, kiddo. Either swing or thrust. Whatever feels natural to you. Sorry to ruin your interpretation of what is right and just, but this is what war really is. Either you defend yourself and kill those who want you dead, or join those you see laying on the ground. I'm sorry this happened, but we have to clear the town of Oswari soldiers, or we will be next. I'm gonna go check the field to see if anyone else survived.
glad you came along. Don't think I would have survived if you didn't. When I heard the town was under attack, I ran here to pack up all my merchandise and a soldier on a mounted horse kicked me cart on top of me. My leg has been hurt bad, but I got myself some potions that will help. I'll give you one. Might help while you explore around here. No way! You wouldn't have anything to buy. Oh, I should be. Pretty sure if anything happens, you will hear the gut-wrenching screams a mile away. Think you can handle the rest of the troops in town by yourself? Good luck.
I'm sorry, kid. We're too late. Come on and get a hold of yourself. I know you just lost your folks, but we need to regroup. There could be more of those Oswari dogs around. Able to pick yourself up and dust yourself off? I'm not sure what to tell you. Decide what you want to do quickly, and let's keep going. There will be time to mourn your parents after this ordeal has passed. Sure thing, kid. Let's get them from under this rubble, and we will bury them once we know the area is cleared.
As you know, I've got former military experience. I'm just not as young as I once was. But you, you kid are young and full of energy and hatred for the Oswari Empire. Just leave it to me. I will show you how to wage war. Sorry, kid. We'll make those Oswari bastards pay for this, I promise you. The survivors are gathering in a nearby hunting camp, not far from here. We should join them and discuss what we do now. Whenever you're ready. Welcome back, my friend. What can I do for you? Okay, I've got some good news, some not so good news, and some bad news. What do you want to hear first, kid? It means you will be doing the heavy lifting getting most of these supplies. I'm getting on in years, and you can use the work as training. Haha, <laughs> consider it training. Oh, my back. Oh, my back. Sorry, kid. Seems you're on your own. We should have all we need to get things started again. Wood from the forest, water from the river, and food from both. 
You never been taught how to survive in the wild? We got a long way to go. This town will take a lot of time to bring up to true readiness. If we are to fend off more Oswari attacks, we will need supplies, allies, and good preparations. We all have to start somewhere. Guess you start now. How's your hunting skills?